Super Singer asks, what are your thoughts on Stephen Dorff's comments on the MCU? So if you don't know, Stephen Dorff was the villain in the original Blade film from 25 years ago. Which, wow. Blade came out a quarter of a century ago. I'm feeling old. So Blade was one of the movies that was pivotal in launching the modern era of comic book movies. Prior to that, the hit comic book movies were Superman and Batman films. There hadn't been a hit Marvel movie. There, had, there was zero hit Marvel movies. And Blade has never been an A-list Marvel character. But they took this property of a non-A-list character and they made a big hit successful film. Steven Dorff's the villain in that film. So he has his place in the history of Marvel movies that is important. And he's great in the film. This week, Steven Dorff, who has not done much since Blade. He's, he's kept working, but that's like his most high profile thing. All this other garbage is just embarrassing. You know what I mean? I mean, God bless them. They're making a bunch of money, but their movies suck and nobody's going to remember them. Nobody's remembering Black Adam at the end of the day. I don't eat. I didn't even see that movie. It looked so bad. Marvel is used to me trashing them anyway. How's that PG Blade movie going for you that can't get a director? So if you know they had a director, he got fired, they had to get someone new. So he's making fun of them for that. Because anybody who goes there is going to be laughed at by everyone because we already did it and made it the best. There's no Steve Norrington out there. He'd do mainstream movies all the time if they were good. If the one or two a year that happened don't, for whatever reason, cast me in a role, I'm not going to lose sleep over it because I wasn't one of the 50 in Oppenheimer. It looks cool, but to me, unless you're playing Oppenheimer, I don't want to be in that movie. Unless my friend, it's my friend's movie, then I'll do a scene or pop up. What do I make of Steven Dorff's comments? The guy just sounds kind of like of a bitter jerk. <laughs> it doesn't, I, I mean, I don't know if he's just someone that really doesn't care if he feels burned by Hollywood, if he just doesn't like mainstream movies, but it's like someone that simply doesn't have the resume to make these kind of comments. You don't look at his films and go like, okay, well, you made fill in the blank. You have these awards. You can have the right to say whatever. Like when Martin Scorsese isn't a fan of Marvel movies, you go, well, Martin Scorsese he can have whatever opinion he wants to have about any films he wants because he's Martin Scorsese. He's earned the right to have very bold, passionate opinions about cinema. And no one expected him to like 21st century popcorn films. Stephen Dorff is most famous for starring in a 90s popcorn film that's a Marvel movie. And it, it's a very good film. I have been a fan of Blade since it was in the theaters. I saw it in the theaters and have been praising it ever since. But only being in one of those films, you don't have the resume to be able to get away with this kind of just vitriol, condescending, smacking down on something that millions and millions of people like. Like, they're all garbage. It's embarrassing. <sighs> I don't know that you get to say that given the stuff you've been in recently. They're trying to do a new Blade movie. I I get why someone that was in the first one and is really proud of that film, like, this movie's aged really well. Why try and do it again? We already did it perfect. There's a side to that, I understand. And there's a side to it that's like, what are you doing, man? Why are you saying this with the tone in which you're saying it? I Like, it's just so, and there's so much animosity there, antagonism. That as if you're a fan of modern comic book movies, he's essentially insulting you. Is that like a personal attack or something? That really is at the core of why these comments come off really bad. Because it's like the last thing I watched you and came out 25 years ago. And now you're kind of insulting me for liking all this other stuff that's been made in the last 15 years. Dude, what are you doing? Just keep your mouth shut or say something that's a little bit more... Like, there's a way to say it, like, you know, I I don't think that Disney 
making a, a PG-13 Blade movie is true to what made our movie so special. And part of it is that we ca- could have an edge to it. We could have the violence. There is some CGI, but it's mostly about the choreography. And that's not what they're about. And so this movie, I just don't think it's going to be for me because it feels like it's probably going to lose that. But instead, he's like insulting the fact that they can't keep a director. He's laughing at them. Just a lot of stuff that just doesn't, it just doesn't come off well. And he's not someone that's earned the right through his resume to talk that way and have it be received well. I don't think he cares. And I think that's kind of like, he's just kind of like a guy that's like that. And you kind of respect that a little bit. Someone that's just like speaks their mind, even though it's going to cost him any sort of mainstream roles. Like he's talking about it. And they're like, I mean, I don't want to be like the you know 48th person cast in Oppenheimer. I mean, I guess it looks cool, but like if you're not Oppenheimer, why would you want to be in that movie? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. What? Like, why would you why would you not want to be in a Christopher Nolan film where people would actually see you and you're going to be in a great film with a big like it's weird comments. You don't even know how to interpret such a strange take on things. So I I haven't followed much of his career the last 25 years. I know him from Blade. He's great in it. The movie's great. Probably should be more careful with his words if he wants to get future work.